All right, I thought I'd do a video on um, the chip selection uh, for the Zeta board. You don't have any choice for the big chips, but you do have a choice for what you use for the little chips. Um, and the choice is do you use an H74LS uh, uh, part, or a 74HC part, or a 74HCT part, or a 74ALS part. Um, so, um, you know, what, which ones do you use here? Um, I, I tell you that I, I've built it several ways and it doesn't seem to matter, um, at least at an 8 megahertz clock speed. Uh, there's some notes in the design that say um, if you try to go faster than 8 megahertz, then maybe some of the parts need to be faster. Um, but um, I don't think uh, most people will be doing that. Um, but I do believe that there's probably some question of um, LS parts versus HC parts. And it was a question in my mind. I didn't really quite understand why the circuit would even work in the first place with, eight, uh, with LS parts, but it does seem to work. Um, I would have thought that with, a, with, with these big chips being CMOS, these also need to be CMOS in order to get the voltage levels correct. Um, but it seems to work just fine with LS parts. I don't quite understand why, but it does seem to. And let me show you why um, I believe that using HC parts is probably a better solution, but um, like I said, it does seem to work. So we've got a, a board here running and um, this particular chip is just convenient because it's on the edge of the board and I'm going to take a look at one of the signals and uh, I'm going to look at uh, pin 9 here and uh, let, me, uh, let me move the camera up and hopefully we will get the oscilloscope there we go uh, you can see that uh, the uh, uh, voltages are coming up um, only about, let's see here, one, two, three, three and a half to four volts, uh, maybe three and a half volts is all, all the excursion. You can see that they're not quite getting, getting up to five volts. They're definitely a, at least a volt, a, a full volt away from being at five volts. And they have this ugly little ramp on them and everything. And so this is what the, the signals look like with an LS part in it. Um, so let's go back down to the board um, and I'm going to uh, uh, turn off the power here. We're going to take this chip out. It is the 74LS14 chip. It's a, um, a uh, inverter, uh, hysteresis inverter. And I'm going to put an HCT variety in its place. I'll turn the power back on, uh, get it to boot, and I'll go back and probe pin 9. And let's go back up and take a look at the oscilloscope this time. And let me probe it here. And you can see that uh, uh, the voltage, voltage excursion is much higher now. So it's one, two, three, four, five, right at five volts. Nice flat tops, very square waves. Everything looks great. So I, I would trust a circuit that looks like this. Um, and um, that's really the big difference. Um, it seems like this board is pretty happy with the LS parts in it. But, you know, like I said, if I had it to, uh, if, I had, if I had my choice and I could pick either part, I think the HC parts would give a would give a better um, would give a better signal. It doesn't really matter if you use HCT parts or HC parts. The HCT just means they're they're TTL compatible on the input. Uh, but if you if you did the entire circuit with HC parts, then there would be no LS parts in there, and it wouldn't matter. So I say build build the board out of HC parts and uh, and get nice clean waveforms. Um, for me, the junk store has both parts. Um, I don't really have a choice for some of the parts. Um, I think one of the hard parts to find is the LS670 part. Uh, the 670 um, is the 4-bit uh, latch, 4x4 um, um, latch, and um, I think that's kind of hard to find in HC parts, uh, but uh, it's easier to find in LS parts, so, um, you know, I, I, uh, I looked and even a, a mix of parts, having some parts HC, having some or HCT, and some parts being LS, 
it works just fine and you can get most of the signals up up looking good so um, that's what I've done is uh, for some of the crucial signals uh, there's a go back down uh, there are some data lines that are used um, I mean, all the data lines are used but some of the data lines are used more often than not um, sometimes it's just 8 bits going everywhere so you're using all of them but a lot of the circuitry uses just using bit 0 uh, to do certain things so bit 0 is actually used heavier uh, than the other bits and um, some of them have uh, buffers on them um, so there are some funny signals. Some of the funny signals are on this uh, 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 14 part, the, the 74LS14 part, and uh, the other part that uh, looks a bit strange sometimes is this particular chip, which is a, a 7474. Um, so if you're going to change any of the chips, I would say definitely make this chip a HCT part and this part an HCT part. Um, the other ones seem to be a little bit more well behaved. Um, but these particular two are under load for some reason and uh, they, they operate a little bit better if they're CMOS but anyway there's my two cents worth make it HCT if you can otherwise uh, LS seems to work fine too